Hi, I'm Flynn. I'm the electrical engineer at FTN Motion. I've been at FTN since the start of May. The main thing I can show you today is the um, prototype, like the first initial prototype of the, um, of the central control unit. So this is uh, pretty much for all the low voltage stuff on the, on the bike, it's excluding the drive. It's more about all the lights and uh, locking systems. It's all based around a microcontroller, um, which does all the information processing and controls the outputs, reads the inputs. So I've got a mock-up system at the moment, sort of set up on, uh, these are called breadboards. These are just dummy inputs um, that can that can be substituted for the actual buttons on, on the handlebars of the bike. Um, so showing the indicators, um, got uh, right and left, simulating the, the brake lights just with the button, which would obviously be the, the brake, the switch in the brakes. Uh, got the really loud horn um, and a button to control the, the lock, uh, solenoid lock. We're working with a contract engineer, Keith, to um, design and design the printed circuit board to um, incorporate it all. And that'll be manufactured locally in New Zealand um, for the rapid prototypes. Another thing I've been working on is um, sorting out the supply of a, um, a small circular display, um, a, a nice little colour MOLED display for the, um, the sort of the dashboard of the bike. Uh, so I've got samples on the way. Um, we're working with a contract engineer to um, actually designed the circuit board for the display as well. My challenges for this has mainly been um, writing the embedded software. It takes a lot of time to trial and error, uh, figure things out, the best way to do things, but it's been, uh, it's really rewarding to um, see, it, see it actually demonstrable and um, can't wait to see it um, actually on the bike.